The Avenger Strong Sword, episode 88. A bunch of old engines of tour from after the war. Guys, I see I see some steam going around the horizon. What do you mean, steam? What what type of vehicle has steam? Is it Thomas Tiz's robot clone? I don't know. Dumb miss or master or whatever. I told him what to call you now. You can call me Thomas or Master, I don't care. But what runs on steam power? I have an idea. Steam engines like us. Oh yeah. That could be it. And then heard a bunch of whistles and other stuff. Then Engines that started coming down the hill. Gary was the first one to come down. Hi guys. Long time no see, eh? Where have you been? Well, we and a bunch of others. I just found that ground to be repaired after the war. And other events before the war. Hello, everyone. We're back. Hello. Man, this place has changed a lot. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, we're back. We're back, you guys. Ow. Watch it, Gordon. Sorry, Scotsman. Hello, guys. Whoa, there's a lot of engines coming. Hello. Hello. Long time no see, everyone. What the... Oh, hello. Whoa, there's a lot of engines coming in. Keep on moving back, guys. Keep on moving back. Keep on moving. Ow. What the heck is happening? All of them have to be repaired from the war and other events. It's almost from the mainland, Sir Peter. Like me and Reginald. And such. Whoa, there's a lot of you. Well, I need to get going. Also, can I get an engine and help me get up the hill? Put some of these trucks are troublesome. I will, Edward. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, he said. No problem. Alright, there you go. And there's your push. Okay, I'm gonna give him a big push up the hill. Thank you, Peter. Hello, Edward. No problem. I didn't know you guys were coming back yet. I thought it would take you guys maybe a few more days or maybe a week. No, I almost got repaired and they sent us off. Yeah, Douglas came back yesterday. I knew about him. Now we have so many engines again. Now, now, well, we can send some areas have been lacking in FHC. Which is the Kildang branch line. But now we have some engines to work it again in many other lines. Um, well, can you guys move on? I want to talk to Case Jr. Yeah, sure. Not talk to him when we were at the works? Said the Eagle. No, because we were on opposite sides of the works. I want to talk to him. How you doing, best friend? Huh, good I guess. Why? Well, when we were at the horse, they said that they'd give me a tender again. And they didn't. And, and I didn't want one anyways, because I like being a tank engine. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. No, of course you didn't know. You're on the opposite side of the horse for me. Why are you so being, why are you so mad at me, Kishner? Well, before the war and such, we talked a lot. Well, actually, no, we didn't talk a lot. We didn't talk for a while. Because, well, supposedly you've been busy with butch trains. I was. I was taking over for Peter and Eagle. Before the war. So I was busy. And while we were in the works, I grew closer to another engine than you, he said. And that was Bert. 
Oh, you mean my old friend in the arms? They'll bark over here. I'll just move out of the way. Peter, move it. Peter, move. Out of the way. So you're saying my my old buddy from the RSL line is your best friend. He's closer to me than you now. Move out of the way, Bert. Ow. Fine, sheesh. Huh. What was that all about? In the works. They weren't talking because they were apparently almost up to the size of the workshop. And Bert was right next to him. So they got to chat a lot. And they found that they were, very, they were very similar to each other. So they became buddies, I guess. And that was, on, that was a few tracks away from them. We don't need him anyways. Okay, sure. Get out of here, Bert. Get out of here. Oh, ow. I just got her the worst. I don't need new buffers already, do I? Huh. Okay, sure, then left. Sheesh. Said Gordon. What is happening between you guys? I don't know. I just, I was just bored in the works. So I started talking to Kishir while well, they were working on other engines. Besides us. I guess he didn't like that. Can I not talk to other engines? Seems not. Huh. Now both of them are men at me. Huh. Meanwhile, Edward was still going along with his good train. Mike then came rushing at him. Oh, but old iron! He yelled, Ow! Kiss your thing. Kind of going, I want to get away from Mike. I want to get away from Mike. But not for blocked by other engines, so I can't get through. I'll have to fall until I get around him. So, Kiss your. Oh, but old iron! I'm trying to get away from Nafford. Okay, calm down. I can't go that fast. Keep on going! Ow! Sheesh, not need to be so rough. Okay, sure, it's coming falling. Behind. Huh. This is interesting. So, my gate. So, make sure to everyone, eh? Keep on going. Huh. He's still rude to everyone, it seems. Huh. Keep on moving it. I'll just wait here for a while. I said keep on moving, old iron. There's a sharp corner down here. So I must go slow. Alright, fine. Just hurry up. Edward Good was going slow, so he gave him another bump. I'm going to go down the hill really fast. On the sharp corner, right by Rosie. Hey, you're going past the speed limit, said Rosie. And he kept on going and crashed right, right in the right mirror. Oh, he knew and didn't get real. The right mirror almost dead at the corner. Oh, this old this old piece of iron needs to hurry up, he said. Huh. He's pretty much rude to everyone, it seems. Get me we all learn. Ow, you you made me bump into the police engine. Wait, what? Edward, why are you bump into me? Cause Mike bumped into me because he wanted me to go. And I was trying to go slow down the hill, so these trucks didn't push me. Oh, so did your fault. Um, Mike, I wanna have a little chat with you. I have a little chat at Ellsbridge. Alright, where should I go? Well, you need to drop off your train here, right? Yes, I do. Alright, I'll move this brief in out of the way. And if any of you lot, they were trying to escape, think again. He said. Huh. If you guys did get this, please um, tie it down so they can't escape. Lock down or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Got this place pretty locked down, you could say. Only certain engines come in and out, 
and if they aren't from Dungeons, then we give them permission. Mike, call me here now! In case you're still watching this, he slowly went down the line. Alright, we're you can go now. Alright. Do you want me to put them inside? Um, no, I have a better idea. Go back to your friends. Now, my get in the sign where Edward plays trucks. Yes, officer. Yes, officer, sure. Alright, he said. Let's stay there. I have some questions for you, he said. Why, why did you do, why did you bump into Edward like that and push him into me? Well, it's because of my, my quote-unquote friend, Casey Jr. Why? You're the one that bumped him, not Casey Jr. Well, he made me mad because he wasn't talking to me. Because he wasn't talking to you? Is that why you thought to bump into other engines? Yeah, and you got a new best friend, which is my old, my old, I um, want to say, um, colleague on the Arsdale line. You mean Bert? Yes, Bert. What else are you talking about, Frank? I hated Frank. I know, I'd get so mad. Uh, am I, um, can I go through? Yes, of course you can. But he had something to do with it, remember? Actually, Kishir, stop for a second. All right, all right. Um, Felix, can, um, actually, Kishir, can you move forward? Yeah, Felix, block him just in case. Hey, what are you doing? Just in case you tried to escape, so you won't. All right, can you explain to us what happened here? Let me explain what happened. Oh, so, so Mike, what you're saying is that you. Now you're bumping on another engine because you wanted to get away from Casey Jr. because he wasn't talking to you? Is that right? And, you, and quote unquote, you got a new best friend, Bert? Yes, he said. Well, well, hmm. What do I do about this, Felix? I, I don't know. I'm just keeping Casey Jr. here so we can't escape. Hmm. True. And while they were talking to each other, Andy had a plan. Well, Felix and Raymond right were talking to each other, Andy had a plan. We were going past them. And Mike spoke up. Hey, what's Andy doing? Andy, come back here now! He said, he had moved the brave van just out of the reach of Rook's buffers. Then and then shot forward and crashed into Mike, causing him to derail and his train to derail into the other some of the other deals. Tough luck, guys. I'm getting out of here. See you later. He said, "See you later." Kishu, stop him. Kishu can't move in time. Here I'm going. Ah. Ah. There you go. Time to go after him. I can go after him, Kishir. Will you stay here and guard these other deals just in case? Yes, sir, he said. Alright, thank you. Edward was just slowly going along the line when Andy bumped into him. Ah! You know? And he bumped him all the line in the fields. Let's talk to over Kishir, too. Ow! That's what you get, old iron! That's what you get! He said, Sandy. And he went up the hill. Ah, uh, where do I go? I'm gonna explore the rest of this island! He said, It's been so long since I've been here! Until I came! Stop in the name of the law, Andy! He said, I really bumped into him. Stop in the name of the law! He said, 
No, he said. I will not rest until I escape. He said. He went down the hill. Ah, uh, said Rhymer. Darn it. And he slowly went, went down the line fast. Uh, where do I go? He and saw Sheffield something. Sheffield, where do I go? Wait, I thought you were captured. No time to talk about that. Where can I hide? I don't know. I ain't helping you either. He turned around so he can face Sheffield. Tell me a place to hide, or else your, or else your boiler is going to the keys. He said, "All right, fine." There's some signs by the bridge they came down. The only reason anyone uses them to get some coal, which they are the better coal hoppers. Thank you. He said. Now don't say a word. All right, whatever. All right. Where's, where's that diesel at? Sheffield. Where you go? I don't know, I just got here. Hmm. Hmm. I'll lay off the hook. He's in. Which way would he go? Hmm. Which way would he go, though? Then he and her horn. Wait, that's Andy. Where is he? And he blared the horn again. Oh, where, where's that horn sound coming from? He said. It's coming from over here, he said. Said Andy. Then Andy then came with a old rusted snowplow. What is, what are you doing? It's having snowing out. Ah. Then Andy started pushing with the snowplow. What the heck? I've never seen anyone use a snowplow to defend themselves. He said, Ah, I guess you cover sheet stuff every day. He said, I didn't get him above him. Ah, ah, ha. You can't win. I'm bigger, stronger. I'll try the snowplow. This man heard a whistle. Get away from that police engine! I went to the camp track and went across the new track and got Andy down. I got him down! I got him down! Good job, Rosie. Thank you. No problem. I think you need some help there, Rosie. Said a voice. And Shuffleman came in. Huh, I think you need some help there. Ah, thank you. Now, I want to teach the engine a piece of my mind. No. Don't, Rosie. You calm down. That's all you need to do. Wait, are you supposed to be going into the port? Well, I tried to come help. Because of this escapee. Thanks. Alright. Alright, um. Where's the nearest crane? Oh, Collins is a ways away, and I don't know where Harvey is. Huh. Well, I guess we can just pull on the rope. Alright. Let's pull him and check him. Make sure you don't escape. Two then pull Andy back on with the rope. And check him and couple up to him. You're not going anywhere, Andy. He said. No, 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 no. You will not. You will not. You can never hold Andy. The one of the mad bombers of Sodor. He said. Wait, a mad bomber? Like what happened during? I remember there was a bunch of bad bombings from I heard from the others in the seventies. There was, sorry, I'm here. Called the Great Solar Bombing in nineteen seventy-three. Hmm. Guess you're one of the engines in the closet. Was any of your other buddies in it? Of course. Ross Bucket, Pat. And even one of your own. Rhymier. I mean, one of my own. Felix, 
was one of them. But he turned good at after he felt bad killing all those engines and people. Huh. <sighs> you will never win the war. Another war will be coming in a few months. So keep an eye out for that one. I'll get back to my post. Oh, same way I go over here. Whoa! Alright, I need to keep that in mind, just in case. I need to get back to my post. Okay. Well, let's get you back to Ellsbridge. Now I'll talk with Felix. And other engines. Then, I'm here to have that chat with some of them. And Felix admit to it. And everything went back to normal.